Number nine, believe it or not, Halloween used to be more of a romantic holiday. Oh. Bobbing for apples was once a love ritual. Mm. Each apple was marked with the name of an unmarried participant. People would use their teeth to retrieve an apple from the tub. With all that water floating around in there. Oh, yeah. that. According to legend, early. they would marry the person whose name was on the apple they picked. Wow. Mm. Not the most. a lot easier, you know? Yeah. 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 Talking yeah. To people. yeah, not the most hygienic of games, and it's also important to remind people this is the 19th century version of apple bobbing. It's much different. How was it different back then, Robin? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what's the main difference if you had to summarize? People weren't worried about the germs. Yeah. 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 Nor should have they been. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right, uh, number eight, uh, you don't like your kid's school photo? Well, there's a fix for that. Portrait studios are offering parents uh, the option to pay extra in retouching fees. Services include teeth whitening, blemish remover, uh, digital hair smoothers, and other stuff. Uh, they're available for anyone from uh, preschool kids to teenagers. Some parents are a little bit mad. They ask for minor retouching only yeah. to find their kids freckles had been completely removed they say it sends a message the children must be perfect other fears uh, what happens when their kids look at the pictures and they ask why don't it look like that in real life how about the fact that they're only retouching the girls yeah yeah uh, boy how do you approach that subject yeah. with your kid uh -huh. yeah well you know you're a handsome kid but <laughs> yeah the teeth you're not are that handsome <laughs> yeah your hair's not that good huh. Yeah, Number seven, uh, sure, Teddy Poos are in. Golden Retrievers are always popular, but if you really want to wow the crowd, here's a dog you don't see or hear about much. I'm about to blow your mind with the Bedlington Terrier. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like a sheep. Yeah, Check out those ears. Oh, boy. Show all your rich friends and say your dog bites. Doesn't look anything like a completely different animal. You'll be singing Mary Had a Little Lamb, except you'll change the words and sing I Have a Little Lamb. Yeah. On top of that, these guys are nice housemates. They're athletic, and they love to cuddle and watch Netflix. Oh. And they don't shed. Oh. Wow. Ha, look at that. Look at that thing. A lot going on there. A lot going on. Hell. Yeah. Huh. There we go. Cozy. Who knew? All right, number six. Here's a good trick. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see it. Oh, look at how he did that. What? How'd he get in there? What was in the world? Is that a little us? man or a giant bottle? I don't know. Well, how did he do that? That's fun. Magic. Optical illusion. Who did it? Doesn't matter. Uh, the, yeah, a it doesn't kid matter. Did. True art, we, you don't need to know who okay. the uh, creator is. He just keeps is. getting just out, out there, there in the universe for people to enjoy. Yeah. Wow, wow we. Huh. All right, number five. Clothing companies like True Classic are embracing the dad bod. They're creating t shirts that fit tighter on the torso and upper arms and looser around the midsection. The goal is for a t shirt that doesn't pull in the middle, but doesn't fit so loose that you're swimming in it. Men who have bought the shirt say the new fit is long overdue. For bigger guys who are proud of their dad bods and happy to show them off. Now these guys, I mean, really, look yeah. the guys yeah. who are showing yeah. are like 20 yeah, years old. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now there's a guy. Oh, there's there's a guy real man there. right there. Yeah. I'm sexy and yeah. I'm You know, you know say it loud, say it proud. You know, you just, you, yeah. what? You are who you are. Mm. Uh, number four, this is a little crazy. There's a 24 year old Russian wife who has welcomed 21 babies what? in just one year. Wait a minute. Yeah, her very rich husband is 57 years old. The babies were all born by surrogate. She said the couple used surrogate mothers because they wanted to have as many children as quickly as possible. What? Now, she lives in the resort town off the Black Sea in the country of Georgia. A young mother named Christina <clears throat> insists that she's a hands-on mother, but she and her husband do spend about $100,000 a month on 16 live-in nannies. Yeah. And I will say this, they all look very happy on the old Instagram. But who doesn't oh, look happy yeah, on the sure. Instagram? Everyone's happy on Instagram. The heck, wow. Good for her. 
Number three, the future of flying is here. Jetson One is a single-person recreational vehicle. It's also a drone-style multi-copter. Think of it as your own mini Skycam 9, because like a helicopter, it takes off and lands vertically. Oh, it lands right where the Baywatch lifeguards live, huh? Yeah. Well, isn't that what that looks like? <laughs> Look at that. And available now? That is a deep cut right yeah. there. And in case of emergency, it has a parachute. You can pre-order it for delivery in 2023. 23, Cost you 100 right. grand. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. 2023. We want it now. Yeah. And I don't want to spend $100,000 for it. Uh, number two, where did the idea of vampires come from? Well, the myth of an undead figure who rises each night to feast on the blood of the living has been around since the time of the ancient Greeks. Wow. In part, it was a way to explain disease that was impossible to understand in those centuries before modern science. Uh, the first mention of the word vampire in the English language is from the 1730s, when an undead spirit preying on the living was used to explain calamities like plagues and epidemics. <laughs> Ooh. All right, number one, it's always a danger to merge two genres of art. Yeah. You've been saying that for years, have, Larry, yeah. dangerous. But in this case, the Western and the horror movie come together perfectly. It's Billy the Kid versus Dracula. Vampire is a ghost which leaves its resting place at night. Suck the blood of living victims. Beautiful. Yes, I would like to see her. Mama. No, Mama, no. Ah. Stagecoach was attacked. Did you ever pull a gun on me again? It oh. was the vampire. I knew it. I knew there would be trouble. I chose you. I mean. Ah. <laughs> Not your oh baby boy. Be alone with you. Wow. So he made this movie in three days. Who did? While making another movie. Who Nobody did? famous, just a guy who made this movie. Three days, and look how good it is. Yeah, look, <laughs> well, you don't need these big budgets. Oh, no. you guys are taking a year to shoot a movie. I like that. It's nine and nine.